welcome everyone to the 282nd Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, June 27th, 2019. This is a broadcast of the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute and part of the public teachings in English. I'll be your host today, Rick Kramen, and uh, along with Flint Mulhausen. And uh, as always, we are joined with Mr. Mayran Kesh of the Kesh Foundation, who I understand has some rather major announcements today to bring forth. And so without further ado, let's get into today's workshop. Hello, Mr. Kesh, are you ready to go? Yes, good morning, good day to you. As usual, whenever, whenever you listen to these Knowledge Seekers series of teachings. It is nice to be back. It is nice to be able to bring good news and more news that the technology and the Keshe Foundation is reaching in new dimensions, new positions. And in so many ways, we all collectively are reaching our goals. It might so, somehow look a bit rough. It might sometimes look out of the reach. It might get some hiccups. But overall, the whole thing is looking the way it should be in, in so many ways. They say, if you have patience, you can do anything. And people around me, they know I have a patience of God knows more. I can wait. I can tolerate. And in so many ways, I react very fast to some things because it needs to be reacted fast. But other things you have to allow it to, as we say, to mellow, to mature, to reach a point. Making peace with a race of a man who has been in conflict for billions of years, from jealousy to the other partner, and jealousy from funds, and jealousy from what we call physical, material life, to trying to change the man in 10 or 20 years, it's not an easy job. It's very difficult, but we have passed milestones step by step, all of us, one by one, we brought new dimensions, we brought new knowledge, we shared new knowledge. In a collective way, we all participate in it. There is no one here who can say, I did it, it's mine. I mean, we see many of you, once you show something or discuss something, you think you are the owner and everybody has stolen from you, where you don't think, where did you get the knowledge to be? So you stole from us, but we don't consider that way. We consider your soul is not mature enough to understand the partnership, the sharing of the knowledge, the sharing of the technology. And as you heard last week, and we announced this, and already today we have received, for the last few days, other positions that are major groups who would like to become part of the Cash Foundation Global Corporation as incorporated in the stock of what we call pink sheet market in the United States. We are delaying this for another week or so till we sort out our site and the announcement of the opening of the trading will be announced in American Stock Exchange. We are proud of what we have achieved. We are proud in a way that collectively we have managed to bring the technology in a dimension that it can be valued by mankind. And we are looking at the share values beyond some of your imagination. We, in the process of the shares, once they offered, you cannot unpurchase to trade in it for two years, which allows the technology settlement agreement, what you call pricing arrangement to be done. The team in the United States will announce the share value processing in next few days, maybe a couple of weeks, and this will be offered to all, as we say, insurance companies, traders around the world, and any cash foundation supporters who want to be part of this, you go through the normal procedure. We do not announce anymore till it's released because of the legal position we stand as owners of the company. As I said, I purchased the company on behalf of the cash foundation some couple of years ago is part of the investment I've done for the foundation. Even though carries and bears my name, it belongs to the foundation. And in due process, as we settle the different arms of the foundation, 
the catch condition operation will be transferred to the arms appropriate to run these kind of operations as we are moving our head office into the nation of Malta. In so many ways, we operate and will mature to the point of maturity of all of us to be benefited by it. The organization and the company in the United States will stay independent of the Keshe Foundation organization, even though all the intellectual rights of the foundation will be used in the way we'll benefit by its development around the world, but after paying all the taxes to all the nations we operate on, after we pay our taxes and employment we create in the American, uh, what we call um, North America in United States, then this what we call the surplus will be transferred to be spread to be used by all the needs of the cash foundation worldwide. The structure is very clear. We pay all our taxes according to the nation we operate on. We pay, as we've seen, the best wages, the best way of living for our staff. I, while I'm here or on my passing, it'll be the responsibility at the foundation. My, my philosophy here for 40 years in business is, those who make the finances, those who make them what we call company run, they should be the beneficiary first, not those who use it because they already received the benefit. The policy of the Keshe Foundation Global Operation, once those of you who are here or in the future become part of the structure of running it, has to be that workers, people working, supporting, come first. Is no use creating a switch up paying people little that you make more profit that others can enjoy what the others suffer. This ethos has to go out of the man's blood. Those who create the wealth have to be in the beneficiary of the wealth. This is the principle, the ethos of the cash foundation. This is how I ran my businesses for decades. It's not something just because it's the foundation. So, in the coming weeks, when we start structuring cash foundation globally as manufacturing companies, the workers, those who work around us, have to be paid that they have a decent life. We are not saving from one to pay to the others, that we pay taxes, that we collect money, that we spend it somewhere else. You always look after the home first, and this has to be the policy and the structure of the Cash Foundation Global, with a management team which has been put in place. In that process, as I said, we invest heavily in Arizona in the coming time. We invest in the United States, in the space development, and I have started transferring knowledge to America. In past week, we have transferred unknown knowledge to the United States in a way that represents the Cash Foundation and not necessarily the administration. It has to be understood that the Cash Foundation as a nation, as one nation, works within its own ethos and its own structure. It's important for all of us to understand that when one of us succeed, all of us succeed. When one of us fail, the other help not to become a failure or we learn from it that no one suffers. In this process, as you understand, to set up the Cash Foundation global operation that it allows us, us all to work together to bring what we imagine can be. It took a lot of planning, it took a lot of work, a lot of people in the background have worked. And as we said, we gave you good news. We have become part of the American or international market and we have a value. The value of the Keshe Foundation has been valued. Our asset, our knowledge has been valued. And we know how much we worth and this price is escalating in the past month. I thank the Chinese community. I, I thank the whole of the Chinese community who have kept this secret very tight in the past month. Today, we announce a major breakthrough in the work of the Keshe Foundation. In a way, we have reached the ultimate goal. And I take silence and will let you see and understand what has happened to Keshe Foundation. We have become the most powerful scientific organization on this planet. And we have the force, we have everything to show for it. Stanley, can you play the recording, please? This is thanks to all of you, and you understand why 
kohdettu isä. The knowledge of the universe is part of us. It was given to every being as we are part of the Creator and the Creator is us. The Keshe Foundation was created to become an oasis of universal knowledge and the place where the science meets the soul of the man. Meran Tavakoli Keshe, the founder and director of the Keshe Foundation, has set humanity on the path of peace, teaching us all that there are sufficient and abundant resources available to everyone without the need for abuse of other beings for the benefit of one. It all started with one man and his comprehensive research, shared within smaller groups of people at the Keshe Foundation Center, and soon expanded to an entire community of knowledge seekers working in the direction of peace. In 2014, following the nuclear disaster in Fukushima, a complete blueprint teaching is released with information on how to decontaminate radioactive environments. Live broadcast of the decontamination is made from an independent laboratory in Japan proving that the technology works. In 2015, Magrav's blueprint teachings bring to life the possibility of harvesting plasma fields that are found freely in the environment as continuous sources of energy needed for space travel. The Peace Blueprint, Spaceship Blueprint and Agriculture Blueprints follow. KFSSI Education has expanded since to teachings in over 18 languages, spreading the new Keshe Plasma science and technology to every corner of the world. Keshe Foundation Wikipedia was created and is building up with the support of the community. The first plasma science journal that accepts Keshe Plasma scientific papers without peer review became a part of the monthly Keshe Foundation publication, KF Plasma Times, already reaching its 12th edition in June 2019. All this time, Meran Kesh has openly invited all the world's governments to join the Kesh Foundation in the ethos of peace and equality to learn the path to the universal community. The Kesh Foundation Manufacturing Austria, active since 2017, has been working closely with the Chinese Research Center. World-leading plasma scientists with intrinsic motivation work around the clock with their heart and soul to develop and improve the plasma products. Research and development in Austria confirm the power of the Keshe Plasma technology and encourages the team to follow the vision to be a valuable part of the worldwide network of communities with the aim of establishing peace on Earth through the benefits of Keshe Plasma technology. The research and results presented in the past months confirm the correctness of the technology which cannot be ignored. In China, high-scale trials have been conducted and validated for their results. In October 2018 in China, the processing of diabetes was brought to the public, where the person's eye could not open and the diabetic wound on the leg would not close for three months. In only six weeks, with GANS plasma processing, diabetes was reversed and with it, the eye and leg wounds recovered as well. In China, the agricultural trials showed an early maturing time of wheat processed with GANS water. The rice, millet grains, beans and corn processed with GANS water showed an increase in size and higher resistance to plant diseases. The end of 2018 revealed the success in processing African swine fever using Keshe Plasma technology in China. In November 2018, the first pig in China was processed, saving its life after months of suffering. The second case involved 30 pigs that recovered entirely. The third case in China consisted of 829 pigs that had confirmed from the laboratory blood tests as being infected with African swine fever. The pigs were dying until the research team intervened and started the GANS plasma processing, saving 725 pigs and bringing them back to a healthy condition in only seven days. All the work that has been done by the Keshe Foundation teams has the purpose of bringing humanity in line with the universal community, to be able to travel the space of the universe, to be able to handle defense systems in deep space, to be prepared for any unpredicted situations, and to be able to sustain a healthy and comfortable life during space exploration. After all these years of hard work, the Keshe Foundation is proud to invite you all today to celebrate as knowledge seekers the long-awaited milestone. It is a day when we make history. It is the day that many generations after us will remember as the day the future of humanity changed. 
These undoubted successes worldwide and in China have brought the Keshe Foundation a partnership with the most powerful nation in the world, the Chinese nation, establishing the first joint company in partnership with Chinese government organizations under the name Keshe Gans Technology. The new company, which is financed by the Chinese government organizations, has a registered capital of 100 million euros, an invested capital of 1 billion euros, for building the first Keshe Foundation industrial zones in China. Furthermore, by written agreement, the Chinese partnership has made available billions of dollars for total development and commercialization of the technology in China. Keshe Foundation, as equal 50% partner in the established company, will provide the technology and the science, while all the financial, economic and political support will be provided by the Chinese partners. This is to start the construction of the Keshe Foundation industrial zones in China. Each industrial zone will provide all that a nation requires according to its location and needs. The clear proof of technology has brought the leading nation of the world to back and finance every aspect needed to spread and commercialize Keshe Plasma Science and Technology in China and worldwide. The state-of-the-art construction of the Keshe Foundation Industrial Zones provided by the Chinese nation will include the development and application of every aspect of the Keshe GANS technology, with GANS manufacturing facilities and the addition of technological divisions needed by the nation, including agriculture, health, decontamination, energy, transportation and space travel, etc. It is the wish of the Chinese leadership to spread the wealth and expertise of the Chinese nation to other nations of the world through the One Belt One Road initiative of His Excellency President Xi of China. Keshe Foundation with its technology and its industrial capabilities which are now financed by China will support the initiative of the President in delivering the same to other nations through the cooperative between Keshe Foundation China and the One Belt One Road program. With this joint collaboration of the Keshe Foundation Technologies and One Belt One Road initiative, nations will not be burdened with debt. Instead, this alliance will bring to the nations the possibility of growth and development equally via the One Belt One Road initiative through science, commerce and education. As this announcement is being made, a number of countries are in negotiation and a memorandum of understanding is being signed with Keshe Foundation for this purpose, leading to the construction of industrial zones in their region. The Keshe Foundation in conjunction with the Chinese partners as financing arm was setting up the center of excellence in China for scientists from all around the world. There will be up to five main research centers outside China and at the same time China has become the center of excellence for space technology. The initial structure is established to bring the most eminent world scientists to expand the Keshe Foundation plasma technology. There are no limitations on the financial side from the Chinese partners as long as we bring new technologies, new sciences and new applications for peace. This is the peace dividend. There is no need for any nations to spend money on arms for killing, but there will be sufficient financial backing for saving lives and developing new technologies. In the coming months, Keshe Foundation industrialization will expand beyond anyone's imagination. Most nations will become food secured at national level and will be able to produce their own products, their own materials. New industrial machinery for the Keshe Plasma technology is to be developed in China, bringing a new cycle of jobs to produce systems that allow farmers to achieve large-scale production in agriculture. We will build and achieve the same systems for environment, medicine, transportation, space and materials. We are opening the doors to the new science and thanks to the office of His Excellency President Xi of China, the Keshe Foundation has been given the opportunity to move forward. A new industrial revolution is here. This is now becoming possible as the Keshe Foundation received a powerful ally in China, standing alongside the true knowledge and supporting further developments to bring a prosperous and fearless life to humankind. We are looking forward to making one nation in structure by spreading knowledge and technology. As one structure we are very powerful because for the first time the power of changing our lives, looking after our health, looking after our agriculture, looking at the clean water, looking after our shelter is in our hands. The change is here, the change is now. Celebrate with us the new beginning for mankind. Kesh Gans Technologies Limited.
Thank you very much. Now you understand the change of the course for all of us. The backing of the Chinese government, the financing, of the development and commercialization in billions of dollars, which is signed and now the companies has been registered and started, will give all of us the opportunity to see the change. We started with a small prototype factories, we started with small work, we shared knowledge so openly that nobody could imagine there is no need for patent, there is no for need for anything else. The beauty with this technology and what we have received as backing of the government of China is that there is no patent registration. No one asked us do we carry the intellectual rights because they know the whole world carries. And for a nation like the nation of China to support such a technology buries the intellectual right property for all and what's and that's done. Because what we produce in a factory in Kenya, what we produce in a factory in Arizona, what we produce in a factory in Beijing or another point on this planet belongs to all of us. The way it's planned to be done, everything will be run on one central organization. We merge the American structure with the Chinese structure. We have taken shares and part shares in each other that allows us to transfer intellectual rights right across this planet. The whole structure will be owned within two parameters of United States and China. And this allows us to benefit from both sides. We don't take sides on the politics, we don't take sides on who says what, we take sides, as I said in the video, to bring these unruly children on the understanding there is no difference amongst them. And I thank the Chinese government and the Chinese leadership to support us the way they have done. It took time. We had to show we are correct, our technology is credible, and with you keeping us in front, this has brought everything possible for all of us. What does this mean? This means very, very simple things. This means that from now on, all the structures which is going to be set up is shared by all the Keshe Foundations worldwide. This means that from now on, whatever we have, we share knowledge, technology, and we finance it. The way we have it structured, and you will see in the coming time, you come up with the technology, you come up with a way that it benefits mankind, you become part of it. We have no limitation, and I repeat, we have no limitation in finance, be it from the space side, to manufacturing, to testing, to validating, to commercializing. If you understood last week, I explained that we don't accept different standards. We will set up one standard because cash foundation worldwide will become the standard. How we produce things and how it will be done. Most probably, as it's a human habit, some of us try to mend it, some of us try to break it, but at the end, in general, we all benefit by it one way or another. As I said, I thank the Chinese community, I thank all the Chinese Cash Foundation team have worked relentlessly in past 80 months. Good time, bad time, the same outside China. We all stood because we believe in what we do. And the only thing was missing was to have a powerful nation behind the technology. Now we have. Now, very soon, we'll carry with us the government of the United States. You will understand soon when I explain in the coming time. We are here to use the technology to create peace. We are not looking for anyone to finance us, that they can bend and condition us. We already finance to what we need by the nation, which is asking for nothing but to spread the technology. If you are in business, you know how hard it is even to raise 10,000. 
hundred thousand. The cash, as it's on the, what we have told you in the video and what you see, is in the structure, in the mandate of the registered company. A hundred million euro capital cash, one billion finance, for just the beginning. This is just to start. They never put any condition, who we can share with, who we cannot share with. This is the beauty of a nation who is progressive and peaceful. Is not looking for whatever you want to call it, tariffs and everything else. This is for a nation which is progressive. You have a nation of China. You have a leadership who understands the time of nitty-gritty and division has finished. As I said, Many times, Mr. Loyal to the nation of China, Mr. Loyal to the administration of Chinese government. The same, we do the same with the Americans. But each one has to understand the time of all this killing and wars, now is finished, because we will not manufacture anything which harm one single soul. Somewhere down the line, somebody might think he can use it, but it will not happen. And this is the beauty of it. Today's announcement is not an announcement. We already, the company was registered on 29th of May. Now we're at the end of June. In past one month, we've done everything, setting things up, getting things sorted, all the other things which comes with the new birth. We're still going through teething of all sorts of things, but we don't need to wait for financial commitments. The commitments are made, everything is on the move, and on the back of it, as the Cash Foundation Global is a shareholder of it, is the Chinese operation of the Cash Foundation, this billions of investment gives a massive value on the shares of the Cash Foundation Global operation in the United States. Now you understand what I was exactly explaining. In the coming time, any ways we can will support to keep everything totally under control of the Cash Foundation. As you heard, and as you can see in the company registration, Cash Foundation is not a junior partner, we are equal partner. And for a nation to back billions and accept the technology to be equal, where usually scientists can carry only 30% of the shares, and the rest is in the hand of the financier, the Chinese partners accept the technology worth more than money. And this has given us a balanced, unheard board of directors, which means we sit equal partners. We don't accept conflicts, we find a solution. And with that solution, we progress, we go forward. The structure of the management of the Cash Foundation in China is set on how the whole structure of the future of the Cash Foundation is worldwide should set. Where any point of conflict is avoided, we walk towards one point, one direction. And receiving equal respect by the most powerful nation in the world, on the board of directors, it means the technology is so correct that they see it. And it's the first time such investment has been done by any nation in a brand new technology. We bring massive changes in the operation of the Cash Foundation in the next 6 to 12 months. We have no limit for financing. As long as we keep to our work, and as long as we develop technologies which brings prosperity to all the nations of the planet, there is no restriction from our partners. The only restriction comes from us that we have to educate ourselves to understand the new technology. Teaching is free, research has been added. All the spread of the knowledge and technology in a massive way with different nations has become now part of our work. Now the foundation has been valued. Our technology has been valued tens of billions of dollars because it's paid for, is valued to be set up for. This is important, because what we all have achieved is the goal of peace. 
And today, we announced the establishment of the organization, the structure, what we call the Great Peace Organization. Which means we look through this new development and what we set up in the United States across this planet, that we aim for the Great Peace or World Peace. And we have set up the structure for it. And in the coming time, it will be financed to be set up as a multinational organization to replace the United Nations in conjunction with the Universal Council at Earth Council. Universal Council will carry many burdens from all languages and all parts of this planet. And today, I welcome our Hebrew speaking Universal Council, which has been accepted to become part of. So, we have no difference between the languages of the world. We have the Farsi, we have the Arabic, and today we have the Hebrews back. I welcome him, and I hope as an ex-soldier and a high-ranking officer in the Israeli army in the past, he understands the pain of the loss, and he carries this knowledge across the border to Palestine. This is our job. Now we are not aiming, we are not hoping, we are operating. The space program will take a new shape on the full control and supervision of Chinese government, which means the space will be used totally for peace application. You will understand a lot of new things will happen in the coming time. One of the things which will happen, the Keshe Foundation Journal, the Plasma Journal, Plasma Time, will take a new dimension in scientific evaluation and release of papers. In the July edition, prominent, eminent scientist papers will be published in the journal. Most probably will publish two or three. Will give you the history of the scientists. These are the leading scientists in the world. They are what we call the elite, and their papers will be published both in Chinese and in English, that we understand. You should understand what we published, what we spoke about, zero temperature and everything, a couple of weeks ago, is in conjunction and explaining what these scientists have written and done research. We the same as we did with the medical, where we used to have a doctor explaining the, what we call the medical aspects, the present world of health, and then we explain the look and the knowledge from the new plasma technology. The same thing will be done. We publish a paper which is brought by the, China, by the Iranian scientists, and we answer to the question, as we said last time, about confirmation of change of light to what we call particle. With the Chinese papers, we have answered in the same kind of teachings, but now their papers will be published. You will get the eminent scientists around the world publishing their papers, unconditional, we do not peer review. In July edition, you will get one of the first papers that will see, that will be discussed in July in China with the world scientists, that the first time will be published in Keshe Foundation Journal. So, we bring in credibility and strength into the Foundation by the scientists who support and understand the work of the Foundation. We release, we reprint scientists who would like their knowledge, their papers to be brought back to public that is used by other scientists. So, in so many ways, I have brought you your dream to reality. Creating a structure that no nationality matters. Bringing a structure that it puts us on the path to peace, the great peace. This is what we are looking for. You can collectively start organizing, if you like to work with that direction, at greatpeace at keshe.foundation. This organization, we will structure it to take over the work of the United Nations and then we'll understand how we can collaborate to structure it through members of the Universal Council and the Earth Council, and we'll support it to mature in total. I have given a commitment to the Chinese government upon signing and completion of all the other parts of the agreement,
will take China to land on the moon within two hours flight from Earth, within the first six months. We'll guarantee to the Chinese, who will take man crafts within 12 months from that point onto the moon and beyond. The limitation of a space technology is not that we didn't have. The limitation was we didn't want to because it was easier to do other things. On the other hand, when we spoke with the organization of the conferences, which will come up and you will understand, two, three days conferences, where two days of conferences given by the government to the Cash Foundation to explain the totality of the knowledge, you will understand the Cash Foundation scientists will be admitted, doesn't matter what nation but there will be a lot of objections from other nations, which we have to solve this problem, this is our problem. So, the Keshe Foundation scientists represent the nations who others try to ban, but Keshe Foundation scientists are considered as part of one nation, and they will be represented. This is a breakthrough for all of us. I thank Armand, beyond imagination, he's working with them today to get his part done. I thank Wang Lin in China, she has worked in NSA to see the whole process go through smoothly. The people are named very much, very much like what you know in Chinese Australian organization we have, that they have been there non-stop in past 18 months. We have people like Chao, a member of the Universal Council, who's been there relentlessly supporting, doing their work. We have Xia Jin, who has taken the responsibility of all the agriculture in China for Cash Foundation in interaction for industrialization. We have people like David, who has supported relentlessly with the space development. And he's kept loyal to supporting the organization. We have people like Panzo, who has provided all the facilities and materials as much as he could to see the things happen. There are a lot of unnamed heroes in China, as much as we have unnamed heroes across the earth. We have Rick, who's been there all the time, and others, the Stanian, more or less what I call, relentless work of Ella, and we have seen how Caroline has been there, day and night, pushing everything through one way or another, to keep the foundation in front. We have received the financial backing, with the support of you, by the most powerful nation on this planet. And the beauty of it is, no question asked, as long as we develop to lead to prosperity of China, we provide, as long as you develop. Hello, Mr. Kish. Did we lose the connection there, or is it just on my end? Yes, we lost it. Okay, thank you. Okay, bear with us, everyone, while uh, Mr. Kish... Can you hear me? Ah, we got you now, thank you. Moving from one to another. I told okay. you there are a lot of people who do not like to listen and to hear Hello? Yes, we hear you. Better. As I said, a lot of people would not like to hear what has just been announced. And it is beautiful in what we have achieved. And, and I thank this voice, we can hear you. You've been there for past six years, he hears all the time. Thank you very much, Rick. Without your support, we would have been most probably not at this point. You made sure every day is there, every Thursday and every other day. Thank you for your work. I think it's time to hear from the head of the Keshe Foundation, as I'm a servant of the Foundation, and we have chosen, we have appointed a leader. She's taken everything, time with time, working day and night, to make sure I can carry on with my side, while she's carrying on with her work. Ella, are you there? 
Yes, I'm here, Mr. Cash. Hello. We hear from you about the news we received last week. Uh, yes. Um, what I can say is that uh, since we joined the Cash Foundation as a Cash Foundation team, we have been looking forward for milestones like this, and um, we can't express how happy and proud we are that um, we are finally having uh, the most powerful nation backing the technology so that uh, we reach to the goal that we wanted, and that is to bring the peace in the world and to bring stability and safety for every soul on this planet, to bring the equality and um, to stop all the negative emotions, all the wars, to stop all the things that we actually don't need to grow as humanity. What we need is to, to evolve and to go further in space, to explore, to meet other nations, other civilizations, and Maybe one day, if we are um, worthy souls, that we can also teach other um, civilizations in space the way you have taught us, that uh, we can also show them um, the path we took, where we were, and where we reached. And I truly wish that all of us reach this peace inside our soul um, that we can radiate out with everybody together. So what I want to say is thank you very much for everybody that stood with us. Uh, thank you very much for everybody that is teaching this technology worldwide. I know that there are many people who are giving hours and hours of their time to spread the knowledge. And we appreciate very much everything that everybody is doing to contribute to this movement that you have started. And thank you, Mr. Kesh, so much for everything that you are doing. You practically gave your life for the foundation and you gave your life for humanity and we can only hope that uh, we can reach to that level of unconditional giving and to carry on the work wherever possible so i i really hope that all the nations in the world will uh, follow the lead of china and will join into supporting the technology and uh, literally giving everything for uh, for everyone and receiving back in the same way because it's just natural to happen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ella, as the head of Cash Foundation. Uh, Whoops, hello, Mr. Cash. He dropped again, yeah? Uh, yeah, apparently. Okay, I'll bear with us another minute here while Mr. Kesh reconnects at his end. I see that Stanley has put the uh, email connection for the Great Peace at Cash Foundation. Is it Cash Dot Foundation? I see it. Put my glasses on there, just to be clear. Cash Dot Foundation, and I'll post that in the live stream as well. Can you hear me? Hello, Mr. Cash. Am I back? Yes. Okay. As I told you, many people would not like to hear what is said, but that's their problem. If any of you has anything to add to this, then we go to the next section of the teaching. Uh, Mr. Kester, there was a question from uh, Doug uh, McDonald about is the cash coin different from the stock market shares? Yes. Cash coin will, is part of the cash foundation structure. And the stock exchange is part of the international operation of the cash foundation. 
and uh, we try to keep everything very clear and very direct and in so many ways we try to um, proceed because now there are many many subsidiaries of the Keshe Foundation which will come into operation. You got to understand the structure is so big that uh, the foundation, work of the foundation um, now runs into different aspects of administration, manufacturing, research, development, coordinating all the research centers that the ethos of the patent goes out of the, what we call the market. The setting up of the company is now outside and inside one nation that this tariff business goes out of the window. Uh, we see structures that we try to make all the nations self-sufficient in all aspects of the foundation needs. So, we can, we see a lot of changes, we will see a lot of what I call misconducts in past few months, with the Americans pushing tariffs on Chinese, and then the same company moved to Mexico, and then they moved the tariff to Mexico, and we've seen the mayhem. We've seen this mayhem which has been produced by what I call mischievous children of this planet. Um, and this we try to stop. And the setup is for this to stop. We, we are committed to our peace, we are committed to our work, and now as one nation and standardizing everything else, the stop all this, what I call the work. The structure is set to make one nation, be it in the space, be, be it in structure, structure of understanding the totality, understanding the totality of the knowledge and sharing, and sharing the knowledge. We still push for we still push for peace. And today, and today, as I said, we announced the establishment of the Great Peace Organization, which is what we call GP. And this job, this job, will go under the whole structure of our work. How we see it, how we develop it, how we extend to it. Can you hear me? Am I clear? Or do you still get uh, yes, we had an echo there for a bit, but I muted your uh, alter ego self there on the uh, panelist. Uh, I muted uh, one of you. So because we're using two systems, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're putting two systems together to, to cover. In this process, we change a lot of things and gradually, it's, it's a process of learning. We have a very strong, uh, what we call, a Chinese team of advisors who tell us how they see, what they see, the way they see we have to move and they bring the expertise and we bring expertise from other nations with us that we go equally correct. As I said, we're pushing for great peace and many of us, many of people at this moment of time have many ways what's going to happen to Middle East, what's going to happen between Iran and the United States. The hidden knowledge which I will open up today and it's important for us to understand why suddenly in the past week we've seen change of behavior in many things. This process has started months ago but they don't listen. These two children of the Keshe Foundation, one in Iran and one in the United States, are still ramping who's more powerful who can punch heavier. We saw last week as we were doing the teachings that the Iranian showed the knowledge how they can take out an American plane, what they call it, whatever they call it, call it a drone, a flying object, something which was running. And then after that, we heard the president saying he changed his mind the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, this is all gamesmanship. 
and to us who receives knowledge on the edge and information on the edge, and we work inside both governments, we can tell you and explain a lot of truth what has happened. I have to explain to you that this knowledge has already been shared with the Chinese administration and government. So, it is, was thought that it's going to be used as a bank card in the G20 by one of our children, that he's more powerful, and it's my job to explain exactly what happened. You can record this and pass it to all the news agencies around the world, they understand. We released this knowledge to push for peace to be released. This is the Keshe Foundation knowledge and it's inside what we have as a part of the world administration. This is not something which is outside. And if we push for this work, is because we would like you to understand. We saw in the past month, past two months, the Iranian government officials announced they have two technologies. And Americans were after both. What was the space of Iran? and one was the defense of the rockets, which we saw. I explained to you what has changed. Americans have found one of the game of the child, not the second one. What happened last week, this is the pattern. I hope our American administration and the line understand. This is not a bargain in which you carry, we're talking about peace. This is the Straits of Hormuz. What happened? Last Thursday, Iran, to be safe, has, over the past months, has mined their territorial waters, and they know how to get in and out of these waters. We saw two weeks ago, a ship called Mason came in to understand the power of the Iranian naval force. That was a test, and they got the message that Iranians have technology to cover, but they covered it. This was a deployed to understand part of Iranian technology. It was done deliberately to enter. We kept quiet about this. What we saw last week was another part of the same game. The Americans flew two planes parallel with each other. One manned, one unmanned the drone. They flew the manned plane into the Iranian territorial parallel line still claiming to be, and along it came the man 25, 28 embers on board. This plane was carrying jamming device security development system, which meant they were looking to see how Iran will hit this target, the drone. The drone was a sacrificial lamb. It didn't go in deliberately. Iranians had two options, to hit both, or to hit the unmanned. But the Iranians were not aware that the manned aircraft, parallel flight, was carrying the most sophisticated systems in the American arsenal to detect how Iran logs into these drone and brings it down. So the American got the code of decoding the Iranian military defense technology. The 10 minutes, 15 minutes was just a game. Then we saw the next step, that American, the next day announced they are going to do the whole jamming of the Iranian cyber attack. The cyber attack was to see what they found out on this flight works jamming the Iranian system, or finding to block the Iranian system. In a way, it's a game after a game. And we saw again, the following days, they sent a drone over the Iranian nuclear site, to see if it can be detected. And, once they were sure, they got the air under control, they announced now they do a high level bomb. But, well, there is a tale on this, very stinging tale. Iran has announced two technologies. My American children, you have found the first one. We found the easiest one. There is a stinking tail on the second one. As a father, I advise both of you before you do anything, because the option 
what we said, I have an eye to the truth, still stands for both nations. Now you understand why suddenly the American administration even made a threat against the religious leader of Iran, the head of Iran, is like putting a threat or ban on the Pope or the head of the Israeli synagogue or church or whatever you put it. So now you understand how the game was played and all the rhetoric you heard is all talk. Just realizing one jump, they've been after this for years and they think they have. What we understand from inside our intelligence is that it will be deployed, it will be reversed. They are working on it, the same both sides, trying to upper hand each other. But Iran still holds a second card. Go back, three, four weeks ago, the Iranian head of military announced we have two unknown technologies. Americans have found 50% of one. They do not find the totality of it. But my call goes again to American administration. Reach peace talk without killing. The rule still stands. I for an eye to the total. There is one advice to the American administration. If you decide to bomb the Iranian Latans plant, I have a bad news for you. This is my ancestral ground. This is where my blood comes from. Think twice. Talk peace. And understand, you come to an agreement at G20 for both Iran and North Korea on a nuclear development. We have granted, we give a green light for negotiation. We are prepared to negotiate both from the American side and the Iranian side to fit the nuclear, to fit the international law. There is one thing we have to understand. Once you start a nuclear chain, you cannot stop. Iran produces, as part of the work which they've done, they cannot withdraw the nuclear reactors which are operating, they continuously produce nuclear material. So 300 kilograms will be passed and there are rules and ways to do it. But there is one thing, the technology number two supersedes nuclear industry. Iran has been keeping America busy with nuclear, because that's the level of their intelligence. I do not want to see American bodies to be carried out of Iran back to America, as much as I do not like to see Iranians to be carried to the graveyard. Because I know what sits in the Iranian arsenals of space technology. We always warn in my teaching in the past, the only way Iran's defense technology and thing will be opened up, if somebody sells us from inside, and that man's name happened. This is the same process. What I advise the American administration is, to reach an agreement in G20, to make it GP, not G20. We're looking for great peace negotiation. And I advise the American administration very clearly, the same with Iran, the same. No killing, find a way to discuss and find a solution. There is something you do not know, and as I said, they call it the Natanz. Natanz is seven kilometers from where all of you know me as. This is my ancestral ground. Natan's touched, I am touched. 
and I believe in the ethos of Christ. I can lie to it vertically. I hope I'm very clear to both sides. I think it's time for the Iranian administration and government to stop playing games, as much as rhetoric coming out of the White House. We are looking for His Excellency President Xi to take charge of international affairs and bring these two, three nations all in line. Iran, North Korea, in negotiation for good behavior from the United States. I cannot be more any clearer than what I stated. Where the water of Iran, the Trans Research Center comes, is from the ground I own, as part of my inheritance. It's given to me by my ancestors, by my father and my grandfathers. I don't like to see any cousins killed in Iran, as much as in the United States. The peace talk in G20 has to avoid any killing from now on. Americans thought they got away with this and nobody knows, but now we understand they don't have any upper hand to play, they found the radar technology of Europe. This has been transferred to the Chinese administration around about 72 hours ago, in detail. So, they will not spring a surprise on President Xi in a conference. The only thing left is how we negotiate to bring peace between all nations. Somebody's microphone is open. It is important for all of us to know as we stood to enjoy the fruit of technology to be commercialized by all nations everywhere, at the same time we stand for direction of peace. Sharing knowledge. No borders. Transparency to help each other does not matter what color or race As I said, there is no need for nuclear technology. As much as the American think they have found a way that they can do what they like, but you have to understand, the Iranian nations are chess players. Exactly where you think you are safe, is exactly where you are vulnerable. And I cannot emphasize anymore. If you like to cut this past 10, 20 minutes of presentation, pass it on to newspapers and press, you quite welcome. Americans will be surprised. But the problem doesn't come with this. The problem comes how come and how we as one nation going to use these new opportunities of finance collaboration to create condition for peace? We have to stop this weapon rat race that who makes it stronger to, to become more powerful. Now the strength comes out of collaboration not separation and division. We see a lot of moves, because the Belgians thought now with the American position they have upper hand. We received a very strange letter from our lawyers yesterday. They are asking us to send them a blank letter signed by both me and Caroline, that they fill it in for the European Court of Justice. If we have any lawyers, I want to know if this is legal, or does it show that our lawyer has been working with the Belgians all the time? This is a very interesting point. I've never seen this. We have it in black and white. 
and we've been asked urgently to sign this blank piece of papers that they can fill in what they like in it. If you have any lawyers, we rely on your advice. Is this such a thing being done, or I think it's not, doesn't make sense. But as I said, we play or appeal to the European Court of Justice in Open Arena Cash Foundation. When a lawyer who has tried to defend us, and it's always gone to Belgium, we've never submitted anything for us to court, now is asking Carlon and I to give them a blank piece of paper signed by both of us for the Belgians to take to European Court of Justice. What do you think they're going to do? So we we have two choices. We sign the paper and send it to them, or they won't appeal to the European Court of Justice because they didn't receive the paper. So we are asking for our international lawyer team to take over from them. And we release the paper. This is against any law and it shows collusion in so many ways. As I understand, when we told you how it's happening, now you see it in the room. This is important for all of us. We would like to know how we can stop all this madness. How can any of us be able to create a condition with the knowledge we brought for peace, than using the knowledge to kill and cause so much mayhem? The interesting point for us is as follows. How can all of us, from now on, and with the finances which has become available to us to spread the knowledge for peace, spread the knowledge to create more comfortable life for all of us, can use this new technology from now on for a peaceful application. It is absolutely important for all of us that we all understand as I said, I transferred the knowledge of the space technology in past recent time to United States through becoming, making aware the soul of the man who was carrying the knowledge for him to see. Because when we speak, we speak through the soul, not the physicality of the man. And so, in the coming time, all of us should benefit from the peaceful application of this technology. It takes time. It's not a magic wand. We have to come to the point as we have come, not to see the pictures of a father and child on the river, trying to get to freedom, where they actually they become prisoners of life. When I look at these pictures in the past 24 hours, I think, what would have been more suffering for these two just to go somewhere to be safe? Where is the responsibility of the nation to take everything to their nation to make it safe for them to be where they are, not to be in the hand of the rivers? It is our job as a Keshe Foundation to change the course of humanity with what we have in hand. It's going to take time, it's not going to be tomorrow. There is a lot of cleaning up to do, not only in the cash foundation, not only inside the operation of the cash foundation, not only in our villages and in cities, but the whole of the humanity needs to take the next step. It'll come when, as I said, and you heard in the broadcast, that we have started negotiating with governments to finance, to bring these technologies to them. We are approaching them, we want to invest. What are your conditions for receiving our gift? And what do you provide that makes it easier for us to gift you, that you receive it in good health, in a good package? The way it is structured, the Keshe Foundation is like in Kenya, like Austria, like in Italy, will receive an estimated of tens of millions to set up factories, the latest the technology present time can offer in conjunction and with the science of plasma technology. 
We are not cutting up everything, we know everything. We need a time of transition to build up. The investments in Arizona will be in hundreds of millions of dollars in the United States. We are committed to humanity irrespective of race and color, irrespective of language. And this process has to be carried out by all the members of the Universal Council. As I said, it took me 10 years to set up the Keshe Foundation, and when it was time to move on, I handed over. Handed the management to a small group, they manage. I hardly attend any of the meeting because it's not my place. Now, I have developed the, what I call the industrial part, where the, actually every man can feel the change in the water they drink, in the air they breathe, in the land they walk on, in the space they travel in, that they are brought in with the full knowledge and safety of their own knowledge and what they have learned to the understanding of the work of the foundation. And in due course, I will resign from this position too. Because my job is very simple. I'm here to guide, to develop new technologies, as long as my physical body is here, to take man to the next step, as far as man can take. And then from then on, my job is done. So very soon, in what I have structured, as the head of the new structure in China, Keshe Foundation, the structure is scientific side, and in the United States, and in Iran, and the rest, will push, I'll resign, I step down in the next few months. And I go back to my life as a scientist and developer of technologies. So, all of you who want to carry this ethos, you better learn very fast that it is for you and your children to start structuring the world peace. To achieve the great peace needs a lot of great peace inside. And this is what my job will be. I have devoted my life to peace, structuring it, and no man has ever managed single-handedly to do what I've achieved in past 20 years, unless it was not my wish, and at my command, and as messenger to achieve this time, with my own hand, that there is no mistakes. It's your job to start taking over the foundation structure, but with pride, not with cheating it. We've seen a lot of misconduct in past years. These all this stop has to stop. And the beauty of it is, stop beckering. Stop fighting each other, who's doing right, who's doing wrong. They are there to do wrong, because with their wrong, good things will happen. Not bad things. You think you're right when you're 100% wrong. So, in a way to them, you are wrong. Try to understand, respect each other's point of view, and understand with this technology, will come, because it's my wish, mankind will serve only. And the strange thing is, while it's serving, it's getting served. As I said to my child, he says, how is this possible? I said, you know something, it's like a car driving, and already having a fuel tank is stuck to it. The more you drive, the more you get filled up. Do you want to stop? And this is what you want to receive. Our agreement and the company set up in tens of billions of dollars with the support of the most powerful nation on this planet allows us now to look forward to achieve world peace through spread of knowledge. In a way, if you look at it, why we saw all these tariffs, why we saw all these fights on copyright, intellectual right, was to show that the time, end of time, for these things has come. And this is the beauty you share. And in the coming time, in a very short time, once the structure of the old teaching is set up, we'll open channels that everybody around the world can come and explain what they have invented, and they know what they invented, if it's done by any of the cash foundation manufacturing companies and anybody else, they'll get benefit by it. They don't need to patent it and get it stolen and spend all their life fighting for this, they right. 
The second time round, we take man to space, but this time our way, not man's way. I advise the American administration strongly. I know you are listening, you are in all the teachings. Come to an agreement with President Xi in meeting in Japan this weekend, the process of peace and talk. We invite the American President to Tehran, as much as, as the American side, we invite the Iranian leadership in the United States to seal the peace, and then we leave the others. You have to understand how this conflict with Iran started, and what is behind it, and what is causing it. It's the same as with Vietnam, it's the same as with Libya. It's the same as Yugoslavia. If you look at the pattern of war in past hundred years, there is no time that American government has not been in it. This behavior of this nation has to stop, and it's my wish to change. And I said, if we have to force it, will keep you so busy inside, the floods you're receiving at the moment is nothing. You want me to wish you more. We didn't create a mayhem to kill. We gave you the water which is the water of life. You don't know how to handle it. My ethos, from man of universe, I kill with love. I don't kill with hate. I give so much that Man cannot handle receiving it. How much more water do you want? Or do you want me to stir it a little bit more, that it keeps you more busy? Shaking this planet is a tip of a finger click. So, I advise all nations to go back into peace. We invest to create peace. You got to understand what the collaboration of the Keshe Foundation with Bombard Bondo means for the nations. There was a shout and howl by Western nations because they were losing their grip in a way that the West and the most of the nations who go on the one by one road of Chinese development of sharing everything is another way of colonization and burdening the nations under debt. The collaboration between the Keshe Foundation and the Chinese one by one road, now we create the wealth through our structure, through our work, through our industrial zone in the nation to be able to pay for what is the wishes of China to develop their nation. Not by borrowing anymore, but the wealth created inside the nation to one by one vote will give all the rights to the nation to start standing on their own leg. Where the water you buy in the street pays for your education, the food you eat, which is better harvest than before, pays for the investment in your education, in a way through the structure of building the Keshe Foundation industrial zones, we take the taxation out of the life of the land, where by what we supply as a pleasure of life, will pay for expenses of life for each part of the planet's work. This way, the stigma which they put on Bombard Mark Road is washed out. We invest for you to develop, we invest for you to become proud of what you are, we invest to create jobs on the edge of science, and what is earned by our investment pays for your nation to become more comfortable, to have. As I said, we take no money out of no nation, but we are one nation, so the money can go where it's needed to help and to develop. The structure of the Keshe Foundation, what I have set up, is the way the universe works, and 
better for man to learn faster. This is how we operate, and this is a trial run for mankind to see how it's done. And this is how it will be. I thank you, all of you, for supporting, believing, and working for past years in different parts, in different ways to achieve this. And as I said before, I thank the whole of the Keshe Foundation worldwide, the Chinese, also China, the administration of Chinese government, the American structure, the American government, the Iranian government, then all of us, the Saudi Arabians, the Indians, the British, the Germans, the Austrians, the Italians, the Ghanians, every one of us have shown our weaknesses and our strengths as one nation, one foundation, and what I promised, I have delivered. But, I hope mankind can carry this gift with what is my wish, to create peace. And I thank you for all the time you spend in learning and teaching. And I thank the soul of mankind that now is maturing to the point of final destination to become free from everything, all the shackles which he made for himself. Thank you very much.